Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. <laughs> this person is like growing tired of being a part I'm getting or they're ready to heal things between the two of you, okay? Somebody here could be like a perfectionist here. They definitely want to be assertive and come towards you. The Empress, the Empress, Taurus energy. Somebody here could be pregnant. They don't have to be, ooh, four of wands. This could be somebody that has a family or you're pregnant or you live with them of something of some sort here. So this person wants to reunite and bring harmony together. Yeah, they do. The chariot. So we have Taurus energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and then we have Cancer energy with the chariot. So they want to come towards you. <laughs> okay. Very ambitious person. Okay, very, this is somebody here who's like very, they have self-control and willpower. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So this person wants to come in and make an offer of love. You know, it's small. It's not huge. Okay, I am going to say that. The, the, I feel like this person is more optimistic than realistic. Okay, they could be very charming person too. Okay, bottom of the deck is the high priestess. So you could be a Pisces or they could be a Pisces. This person is trying to listen to their inner voice, trust their intuition about a situation between, about the situation and connection between the two of you, basically. All right, let's see what other information we have here. So we got the three of swords in reverse, which is good. The Empress, this person wants to come come in, bring you this love offer here. For some of y'all, that could be traveling and getting in the car here. Some of y'all may live in Las Vegas or like near a desert, some place where there are cactuses or cacti. Is it cacti? All right, let's see here. Or somebody could work at a... Um, casino okay what else do we have here i'm getting shotgun wedding with this energy too that's not for everybody shotgun wedding show me the energy here between the collective and their person thank you somebody got ghosted did somebody get, who got ghosted or if this is not somebody being ghosted this is somebody not addressing their feelings collective or like um they suppress their feelings or they were like unable to confront their feelings and how they felt about you. They have, this is because this person doesn't like conflict. They don't like to argue or maybe this is you, right? Apply, apply this where it fits. Somebody here is thinking about how they didn't share something with you or they weren't emotionally vulnerable or emotionally available or they didn't discuss their feelings or whatever. They found it convenient to run instead of facing what the other person had to say or what they did or didn't do here. So this person just like ran away and suppressed their emotions. Hmm. Show me more here. Oh boy. Cosmic love. So you are connected with this person in the 5D regardless of whether or not you are talking to them or currently in communication with them because this looks like you're not communicating with this person in the 3d which is like in the physical right but in the 5d the two of you are still connected which means like you could still be dreaming about them you could still be thinking about them you could still be connecting with them through you know the ethers or through like your thought or through music or through whatever it is right because there's an intense connection here there's strong feelings between the two of you it, they're very powerful and indescribable, the feeling that the two of you get. All right, let's see here. We have, yeah. Somebody here could be an artist or a poet or something here. This is definitely giving Knight of Cups energy. Strong Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is like a lover and a friend. This is somebody here that you felt like he, this person was a stranger. You became infatuated with this person like rather quickly collective is what I'm getting here. Um, this is somebody who's like never met a stranger, right? What else? Or you could have felt like when you met this person, they were a stranger, but you felt familiar with them. 
Show me the energy here between. Okay, thank you. Ooh. Wow. <clears throat> Somebody's got some karmic ties and responsibilities, okay? Somebody here could be married. And the person they're married to could be pregnant, okay? Somebody's in a committed relationship with somebody else here. Somebody could be married. You see that rain finger? But someone here, this person could want, the person who's married, I feel like, collected, this person wants you to be patient with them. And it's almost like somebody here is suffering in silence, but they're holding out. So this person could have ghosted you, kept you in silence, and you're suffering in silence, and you want to heal things, or this person wants to heal things, but they ghosted you, <coughs> ghosted you, and you haven't heard from them. And you're trying to keep the hope that things will work out. <clears throat> Show me what else here for the collective. Yeah, justice energy, Libra energy, okay? Somebody's remorseful for how they behaved. And they want to they wanna right their wrongs. They want to do right by you, but it's like... Somebody, this person here, if you haven't talked to them in a while, like you could be getting karmic justice for this. They're understanding what you get, what you put in is what you get out of it. So if they didn't talk to you, they didn't express their feelings... Or they gave you a lack of whatever it was. And when they broke your heart, they could be getting karma for this. Or they're just understanding there's some mirroring happening here. Twin flame energy. Great. The, you know, the, this is an experience that was meant to grow you and reflect. This person is now like, I feel like this person had a lack of a willingness to understand the connection between the two of you two. You know, like it's a genuine connection and this person tried to repress suppress you know they were afraid to show you their deepest fears and insecurities they weren't ready to do the shadow work they weren't ready to take action so whoever this person is with for those of you who are attached to somebody else they could be attached to a baby's mother or a baby's father or this person for some of y'all is married or you know um they are in their comfort zone with this karmic but with you, they were not going to be be able to stay in their comfort zone. Some of y'all could be a Leo or dealing with a Leo here. Again, this person is very romantic, uh, very outgoing. They never met a stranger. Um, some of y'all, they could even be a little bit bossy at times. They love attention. This person could, for some of y'all, be very possessive or jealous or like very dramatic. I'm getting here. Show me what else here. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. Somebody's going through some inner turmoil. There's a lot of strong Leo energy here. A lot of strong Leo energy here. Because somebody here is like trying to find the willingness to confront their agony and their pain. But they're 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 in this uncertain and uncertain energy. This person is trying to find the the strength to to get out of their comfort zone. They fear that leaving this person or not being with this person here, right, is like going to be too difficult. Anything that pushes this person to take a risk, even though they come across as a risky person, a fun and adventurous person, their ass is not adventurous. <laughs> because they feel like their hands are tied. Somebody here, too, has a victim mentality. They have a negative attitude. They think the world is against them or they have a difficulty coping. It's like they believe they don't have control over things that happen to them and they blame other people. But this is all this is all on them. This is all on them. And now they're seeing this inner turmoil and they're having these they're questioning themselves. They're ha they have a lot of doubt. So on the outside, this person comes across as real confident. You know what I mean? But they're really not. Because they're in a fight in between their heart and their mind. And this person is very worried and very, very agitated. They're unhappy with the choices, the choice that they made, you guys. Just so you know that. Yeah. The, <laughs> I wanted to say the runner, but the chaser came out. Listen, this, this person is feeling hopeless. And they are very confused and they're feeling very lost without you. And they're going through a dark night of the soul. 
They're trying to run away from this shit, but they're not going to be able to. Mm -mm. They are not going to be able to. What else here for the collective? Listen, past life. You're definitely dealing with a past life, either a soulmate or twin flame. Everybody's situation is going to be slightly different. But there's definitely a strong 5D telepathic connection between the two of you. Uh, it's like when the two of you kissed or spent time with each other, like nothing else mattered. Nothing else mattered. Being in your presence, it was like you could be in a room full of people and the only two of you were there. You didn't see anybody else. You weren't focused on anything else. You weren't focused on other people, what was going on around you here too. There you you the two of you had a very deep emotional connection and felt very familiar with each other. Okay, if some of y'all are Virgo or you're dealing with a Virgo here too. I'm telling you this person that somebody here in this connection is a realist. Um somebody here is like if it doesn't make sense, then that's not how it's supposed to be. Because twin flame, past life connections aren't don't really make sense. So this person is like, they, they, they're they choosing to stay in their comfort zone because they're like, oh, this doesn't make sense to me. This isn't real, so I'm just going to stay over here. So this person thinks on a practical level, but they're finding out they were wrong. <laughs> They're over. This is somebody here is overly critical, uptight, and a perfectionist, and they're very judgmental. Now, again, this could be you or them. Apply this where this fits here, but I'm just telling you the energy that's coming out and what I'm seeing. What else do we have here between the collective and their person? All right, let me see. Some of y'all, this person definitely lied about the situation they had going on with somebody else. Okay, they they acted like they were single, but they really weren't. Somebody could have lied to you and said, oh, I'm getting a divorce. My marriage isn't working out. That's not true. They had no plans on, um, yeah, they didn't have any plans on leaving that, yeah, fake apology. Some of y'all may have a fake apology come towards you here. If this comes towards you, this person comes towards you with this fake apology, just listen to your intuition on whether or not you can trust that they're tell, being honest with you and telling you the truth. Because I feel like this person is not revealing everything to you. They're going to want to talk, but I feel like they're still hiding something. What else here for the collective? What else for the collective? Yeah, you're not having it. You're not having it. You're going to be like, don't come towards me. I don't want to hear anything you've got to say. I've heard the same old, same old, you know, check yourself, play it out. You're going to be like, no, no, thank you. Yeah, some of you guys did your homework and you found out that this person was lying to you. Yeah, you're you you this person is coming in after you and they're coming in after you hot. They could be watching you, stalking you, watching you. See, private relationship. Private relationship. But again, just be careful. It's definitely given third party. What else do we have here? Doing drugs. So whoever you're dealing with here, this person makes bad decisions. They are either doing drugs. For some of y'all, it's pills. For some of you, it's weeds. For some of you, it's cocaine. For some of you, it's alcohol. Okay, somebody definitely has some bad habits here. Bad habits. All right. Then we have, ooh, finding evidence getting caught cheating somebody here is gonna get caught cheating or they already did yeah this is not this this is not it show me what else here for the collective <laughs> oh my yeah secret love this person kept the kept either kept this relationship quiet or this was a hush hush thing um, or and you didn't know it or whatever it was, but either way, now this person's ego is hurt. Okay. 
This per this person's ego is getting in the way of them healing and doing the shadow work and them stepping outside of their comfort zone. Now they can't move on. They're thinking about you nonstop. They've been affected very deeply by this by this connection and by meeting you. Now they know they have a decision to make. Look at that. Now they know they have a decision to make. But it feels like to me they're not making it. There's a lot of confusion here with this person. Yeah, this person feels trapped and closed in and frustrated. I feel like if you're the divine feminine in this situation, you guys are like standing in your power. You're in the spotlight. You're doing very well for yourself. You're, you're, you get you get a lot of attention. You're standing up for yourself. You you have all the confidence in the world. And you're really not even concerned about this person. Or this is how this person views you. Okay. Yeah, this person is thinking about you so bad. Memories, nostalgia here. Um, yeah, I told you this person is watching you. They've made a fake account. Okay, they're watching you, spying on you, either through Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, whatever platform that you have, this person is like, they're on there. They're on that account every day. Spirit is telling you to trust that this has happened for a reason. You were meant to be, meet this person. This person knows that no one compares to you or they're finding that shit out real quick. They're finding it out real quick. Yeah. Divinely guided and trust the plan divinely guided and trust the plan okay so just trust the plan i think this is you if you're the divine feminine you're trusting the you're trusting you are where you're supposed to be right now you're not even holding any grudges anymore you you yeah yeah you changed this person's perspective when it came to love and connections you really did you changed this person's life without even knowing you did huh now they gotta be stuck with a karmic Oh, look at this comfort zone clinging on. I told you this person is clinging, clinging on to their comfort zone. I did already, but they're not going to be able to hold on to that for very long. Mm -mm. Listen, this person is coming across as like, I feel like in the past, this person came across to you guys. It's like, oh, I never meant to hurt you. You know, I'm not, I, I'm, I, I didn't mean to do blah, blah, blah. No, they knew exactly what they were doing because unintentional came out in reverse. They had, they knew what they were doing. They, they were being very intentional. Now this person is sitting alone or sitting with their friends, talking about the situation, talking about how they got themselves into this mess, trying to explain the connection that they had with you, how crazy it was. They're asking for advice about the connection on what to do. You know, while they're drinking or doing drugs with their friends. Okay. I want to know what's projected here because projected energy came out. For some of y'all, the third party could be saying, oh, oh I'm pregnant to trap this, this divine masculine. <laughs> Somebody is upset. They have been kicked to the curb. Now, for some of y'all, the, the the divine, the, the karmic is pregnant and kicking them to the curb, or or maybe they kick this divine feminine to the curb. I mean, not the divine feminine. Maybe they did. The, the karmic, they may have kicked the karmic to the curb. But we'll see what energy comes out. The grouping. Hmm. They feel like... Yeah, you're unbothered. You're minding your own business here. You really don't care. <clears throat> so there's some show me about this retaliation energy this person feels like you're punishing them by not talking to them that's what they think they think this is a game but i i don't feel like this is a game this is really how you truly feel yeah and they want to talk to you communicate with you travel towards you here i don't think you're into that you're yeah divine masculine the divine masculine wants to talk and communicate and come towards you okay yeah to tell you i love you i love you more than i have ever found a way to say to you now they want to talk so for some people maybe they did kick this this karmic to the curb or they could have found out somebody wasn't their baby or whatever there's something here to do with somebody being pregnant i don't know if that's you or 
a third party or this karmic, but um, I feel like, you know, if this divine masculine wants to come towards you, this karmic knows that they want to come towards you and this person is going to retaliate against this, this divine masculine. That's for some of y'all. But again, use your discernment because wolf and sheep's clothing could either be the past energy when you first met this person, when you found out these other things that came to light, or when this person comes towards you, they're still holding back. They're still keeping secrets. <clears throat> Show me the wolf and sheep's clothing energy here. Yeah, this wolf and sheep's clothing is this is this person who's pregnant. Could be a Taurus. It's the person who's pregnant. So like I said, they could have lied about something here. <clears throat> Especially if they they know that your divine masculine wants to come towards you. Show me more info. Show me more on this Empress. Look at this. This person, whatever happened or whatever this divine feminine did, they're in regret about it now. Honey, they ass is getting found out. This their their ass is getting found out for being in this energy and lying. Show me more about this Empress, please. Boy, look, <clears throat> for some of y'all was two, they had two lovers. Or they made a real bad choice here and they're regretting this choice. Show me this divine. Yeah, some of y'all they this person does have family and kids. Show me this Empress. Ten of Wands in reverse. Look at this burdens. Somebody's dropping them, dropping this. Remember, we saw a kick to the curb. This could be the person that was kicked to the curb, like I said earlier. So thank you, Spirit guys. Yeah. Show me more energy for this divine feminine. Last one. Eight of Wands. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles. All right. There is some communication and an offer coming in. <clears throat> I'm telling you, this this divine, this karmic wants to do whatever, like they can to hold this family together or to keep something together here. Uh, or, you know, you could be the divine feminine. You could be pregnant. You could be sad and depressed and hurt over this choice that was made and you're feeling really overwhelmed and overburdened and you're just ready to just drop it off. The stuff that just is just weighing on you and you want to talk and have a conversation and try to work this out. I, I apply it where it fits for you. But either way, that's your reading, you guys. Hit the like button if you need.